Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the morning of the 21st of January, 2019. Article on CNN written by Christina Maxoris, that's M-A-X-O-U-R-I-S. Oregon deputies respond to a quadruple homicide just in time to save a young girl's life. You see a booking photograph of Mark Leo Gregory Gago, and that was in August 2018. Now, have you ever seen a booking photograph where the person is smiling? I never have, but you will when you look at the photograph of Mark Leo Gregory Gago. An Oregon man was killed by deputies responding to a quadruple homicide as he was attempting to kill a young girl, according to authorities. Clack Amos County Sheriff deputies responded to a multiple homicide domestic violence call at about 10.15 p.m. local time Saturday, the sheriff's office said in a news release. When they arrived, they confronted and killed 42-year-old Mark Leo Gregory Gago, the sheriff's office said. They were presented with a deadly force situation. Clark Amos County Sergeant Brian Jensen said, Our deputies fired their service weapons, killing the homicide suspect. According to the sheriff's office, the child survived along with one other person. Four other people were found dead at the scene, the sheriff's office said. Authorities identified the victim as nine-month-old Olivia Lynn Rose Gago, Shaney E. Schwarzer, 31, Pamela Denise Brunner, 64, and Jerry William Brenner, 66. Gago lived in the same house as the victims, according to the news release. Incidents of domestic violence are far too common, and this tragedy is a heartbreaking reminder of that fact. Oregon State Representative Christina Drazen said, quote, The people who experience domestic violence need protection. And we need to make sure that those in need of help find the necessary resources. Well, you usually find the necessary resources when it's too late. They come to the scene of a homicide. We're grateful for the quick and heroic response by law enforcement to save lives, including the life of a child, said Representative Carl Wilson in a statement. Quote, our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and loved ones and the first responders who daily risk their lives for all of us. The deputies involved have been placed on leave, standard procedure in the wake of an officer-involved shooting, as the department investigates, the sheriff's office said. Again, have you ever seen a booking photograph of someone smiling? Shouldn't that have told the police that this guy's not quite mentally right? Hmm? Who smiles when they have their photograph taken as they're being booked in jail? Just an observation that I thought I'd share with my viewers. I'll attach the link. Take a look at it. Let me know what you think. Thanks for listening.